Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and in this video um, we're going to be learning how to change the fav icon uh, with JavaScript dynamically. Okay, so basically this here will be the final result. We can see here we have the current uh, decode green um, fav icon. If I was to uh, click on the red button, we can see it changes to a red icon. So this is very easy to do and it only requires you to simply change um, the value of your href um, attribute on your actual uh, link tag. So let's go inside this file right here and I've just got the button set up um, but the code isn't actually there to of course change the icon. So let's go inside um, the text editor and by the way, so uh, just real, uh, real quick, um, I'll just go inside here and we can see that I have this fav icon and that is called favicon.ico and it's the green one. I've also got one in the same directory uh, and that is uh, dash red for the red version. So we're working with those two files right there. All right, so anyway, uh, back inside the text editor. Um, we can see here, of course, I'm including um, the green standard fav icon. Um, and down here we have the two buttons. So I've added the class of button just to add my own styles to it. You can, of course, uh, you know, have your own styles or whatever on your actual button. But um, inside here, I'm just going to add two events to each one of these buttons. Um, that basically says, on click, we're going to run a function. So that function will be to red for the red one and for the green one it's going to be of course two green so we're now going to implement uh, these two functions to of course change the icons accordingly um, or the icon accordingly so inside the JavaScript um, what you want to do is you want to firstly you want to firstly add here um, an ID to your um, fav icon or your, um, your link tag okay so here I've got ID equals fav icon um, so um, you can do this if you like um, and if you do it this way then inside the JavaScript you simply just say const uh, fav icon equals document dot get element by ID and you simply pass in the ID which is fav icon so here um, that is one way of actually retrieving your fav icon uh, link tag um, alternatively if you don't want to have your ID as fav icon you can instead just say document.query selector and you can simply just pass in uh, link with rel equals uh, shortcut icon. Okay, so um, of course these are just two different ways of actually selecting um, your link tag for the, uh, for the fav icon. So I'm going to go back to the example um, with the ID. Alright, so uh, put the ID back and the inside here, of course, uh, the ID is inside there. So um, for now, or uh, from here, we can simply create those two functions. So we can say function to red is going to be a one line function. It's going to simply say fav icon dot set attribute. We're going to set the href attribute to be assets and then fav icon dash red dot icon, of course. That is the path to my red icon. Um, so of course here we're just simply uh, changing the value of the href tag from um, the green one to the red one. It's simple as that. Okay, so I can copy this and uh, do the same thing for to green. And uh, just remove that dash red there. So I can save this and refresh the browser and everything should work just fine. So I'll refresh, click on red, we can see it changes to a red fav icon. Now, of course, um, you know, uh, you can use this um, in various different ways. You can maybe have some sort of uh, thing where, you know, if your user gets a new message or a new notification, you may want to change the color or have a little uh, circle in the bottom right corner. I know um, Trello, uh, what happens is when you actually change your background color for your board, um, the fav icon changes to the same color as your background color. So um, there's many ways to use this and uh, I think generally as a nice little touch to your websites. Alright, uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.